If your sign said, I'm okay with eating meat, you'd probably get a lot of support. <laughs> you'd probably have like a lot of people <laughs> coming up and be like, Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Steak. What have I said? It's okay to eat dogs. Do you think I'll get high fives or a high five to the face with a chair? You sound like a vegan. You're almost convincing me to be a vegan. Hi, my name is Joey Carbstrong. I'm a vegan who has spent the last seven years trying to convince people that animal cruelty is wrong without as much success as I hoped. So I thought I'd try a new, completely opposite approach. I'd pretend to support animal cruelty and harness the power of reverse psychology. And you're deleting your brain for What? Okay. This is how it went. Do you want to come and have a chat too, Michael? Oh, I'm curious. What, what, what do you want to know? Oh, uh, what's your argument? My argument is, there's, did you read the sign? Yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with animal cruelty. So you actually eat that? Do you think there is something wrong with animal cruelty? Yeah, um... What is, what's wrong with animal cruelty? As in, as a baseline, like, obviously, there's just, like, obviously the moral issues of actually hurting something that has, like, a consciousness and knowing of life, right? Okay. Like, so like you're saying animals are conscious and sentient. Yeah. And so it's they wrong have, to hurt them. They have emotions, they have feelings, they yeah. can okay. feel pain. So I I'd say like harming something that can consciously feel pain. How do you know they can feel pain? I mean because you, they can analyze like what parts of their brains get activated when like they are feeling pain. So they've tested it before on animals. So if I like had like say chicken here and I like stabbed them with a hot iron, yeah. How would you know that chicken felt that? They can't tell you. Yeah, but it's like, I mean, like I said, like, so they've studied it before, right? They've been yeah. able to see that, like, parts of their brain light up according to the same way, like, a human's brain would light up when they're feeling pain, right? Okay. So, similarly, like, if an animal feels pain in that way and you know that, if your question is, that, like, how do you know that specific animal is feeling pain, then, like, I guess that's a fallacy that you can run across, like, the board with any, like, any situation because you could be like, how do you know that if I shoot that human, and they're definitely gonna die. But how do you know if I shoot that human, they're gonna okay. feel pain. So you're saying- You have like, to run the assumption that like they all do equally. So we have to assume basically that animal felt pain when I attack them. I mean, we all have to assume a lot of things yeah. in life, right? Because like you scientifically can't know every single thing and like the ins and outs of it completely. No, no. But no. you can know enough. Well, let's assume they did feel the pain. Yeah. Let's just say I contain them and cause them pain. The chicken. Sorry, Let's just say I contain the chickens, um, you know, kind of imprison them, cause them a like bunch a of pain. Like a factory farm, yeah. Yeah, and then I, and then I, uh, I kill them. Yeah. And I eat them. Yeah. What's wrong with that? I said, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with that? Yeah, that's what the people do right now. That's what people do? Yeah, yeah. That's currently, like, what, yeah. what's done to animals, yeah. right? Yeah. But, what is As wrong in, with it? But what's wrong with it? It's, I mean, at the end of the day, there is like a ethical dilemma there, right? Like yeah. That you're, that you're willing to like treat, like, like just because we do it doesn't mean that it's not wrong. So do you eat animals? Yes. Okay, okay. So basically, say a hundred thousand years ago, we were eating animals. Sure. And we we're probably like, not really concerned with how they felt, sparing them down, skinning them while they were still alive. If you look to nature, you'll see lions and tigers ripping apart animals, not concerned with how they feel and with cruelty. Sure. So why should I be concerned with how an animal feels? I mean, but that's based on survival, right? Like they will, they will, they, it's, it's very uncommon for animals to hunt unless they need it for sustenance, right? They're not, animals aren't going out there just killing animals willy nilly. You're saying right now I'm not trying to survive, so if I'm not trying to survive, it then becomes cruelty that is wrong. If yeah, I'm correct. Like that's the whole argument, right? It's not like whether we can harm animals or whether like we should eat animals or not. Like obviously like I don't think it's a great thing to like like probably better it is better morally to be a vegan. <laughs> However, I like meat, so I live with that like Okay. You like meat. So if I like the taste of an animal, it's okay to be cruel to them and kill them? It's not okay. okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, I do it, but I don't think it's okay. Because I get confused, right? Because I look out here, most people look at this sign and be like, ah, oh, there's nothing wrong with animal cruelty. It's crazy. But people have been yelling at me. Living creature, you're just like, hey, yeah, I can abuse that to my own enjoyment. Sure, that's fine. That's great. That's lovely. 
the same people will go into the store and pay for animal cruelty and eat it. Sure. Yeah. So that's why I get confused. Like, I don't understand why this is so controversial when, like, most people participate in a thing that they're yelling me at me about. I think, like, also there's different definitions of, like, cruelty, cruelty. right? Okay. Like, so some people will be, like, like literally torturing an animal. Yeah, yeah. Right, in a in a malicious way, as opposed to like where there's actually without, no... Without, if there's no purpose to it, other exactly, than yeah, cruelty yeah. itself. I would say that, yeah, a lot of people would argue that that's worse. Technically, it's not. I agree with you. It's I mean, not. the it's animal not, doesn't like, care why I'm, ta why I'm torturing them. That's true. They don't know that I'm about to eat them. That's true. So why does it matter? I agree. Okay. I, I agree, that doesn't matter. It's the same it, difference. It, yeah. It's just as it's, bad. It's hypocritical, yeah. for sure. So I'm, if I'm torturing you, yeah. you're not going to first thing you're going to be oh, he's going to eat me, it's all good. Yeah, no. You're right. Yeah. It's going to be just as bad for you. Yeah. Yes. So that what I don't get, well, I'm saying there's nothing wrong. I'm owning it, that there's yeah. nothing wrong with it. You know what I mean? I, I'm owning it. Again, like, so it depends on, like, then it might just be according to your definition, right? Like, if, you're, if, you're, if your sign said, um, I'm okay with eating meat, you'd probably get a lot of support. <laughs> you'd probably have, like, a lot of people <laughs> coming up and be like, Yeah, I'm yeah, fine, bro. Yeah. I love steak. I like, love you know, steak, yes. Yeah. yeah. But if, um... Like, what if I said I love eating... Uh, obviously the wording. What if I said this? What if I said, it's okay to eat dogs. Dog meat. Sure. Do you think I'll get high fives or a high five to the face with a chair? No, you wouldn't get high fives. Yeah. yeah. But again, that's just going against social norms, right? Yeah, yeah. Like over here. But if you were in another country... Maybe, maybe... Maybe another maybe. part of another country, yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might be all right with it, yeah. Yeah, so what do you think? Uh, social norms should dictate morality? I think that morality is dictated by social norms. Whether I think it should or not is irrelevant, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I think that morality is dictated by social norms. It, it is. It and, is, yeah. and do you think Like, that what that's... we think is moral today might not have been moral many years ago, and what we will do in the future might not be considered moral now. Okay, yeah, because there's been many parts in, of time in history where social norms have dictated culture, culture yeah. traditions. I mean, in, in Nazi Germany, like, the people thought they were doing the right thing. Right. Propaganda and that, yeah? Exactly, yeah. So you, according to the social norm, you believe that what you were doing was correct at the time, but that doesn't mean that like mm. they were bad people necessarily. Mm. It's just what you're fed, what you understand. I think like maybe human slavery in America was a, you know, that was like generations and generations and generations and third generation, it's such a norm at that time. Sure. Maybe people didn't always analyze why that was wrong. Uh, yeah, like for example in India, like it's it's also like very typical for like people to have like workers in your house who work for like a very, very low wage, right? And like in other countries, that's almost like, you could say that that's like modern slavery, you know, like mm. people look at it in that way. I get you, but I get you. over there, like it's, it's just a, it's just a norm at so, this point, like. I mean, you're making me think like, we, we are obviously exploit and kill a whole bunch of animals. And most po people complain about animal cruelty as well. Yeah. Do you think like, maybe this is just another one of those social norm things that we're gonna snap out of? Because right now the social norm is to eat animals. And yes, to, to, correct, you know, yeah, yeah. And, uh, once that shifts. Once that shifts, and you think it will shift, and we're, I, we're, do I, you think I, we're in a part of the past right now? I think so, yeah. That we, we will look back on and be like, what were we doing? You, you'd be able to say just based on, you know, like the ethical standards by which like you're allowed to cut meat, or like, the, sorry, the way that they would have butchered meat, right? Yeah. Um, um, like that has changed obviously from the past like yeah, oh, yeah. obviously there are still countries where they they do it well, I mean it's, but, yeah. it's gotten worse in many ways in some ways yeah maybe just because it's happening in the farming yeah. mass far because the demand has gotten bigger so factory farming is the norm but then yeah and that, that's also I mean okay so yeah it depends how far back you go I guess like if you go back to like more basic farming that was the, probably the best for the animals right like yeah way, yeah and, then like you, somewhere in the middle, and they like, kill them with a sledgehammer or something. Yeah, like, yeah maybe, you know. but like somewhere in the middle, there would have been like a time yeah, where yeah, it's yeah. like. I mean, so wait, wait a second. If we went back to like old school farming, yeah. Would you consider it cruel if I, you know, say there's a happy, happy animal there? Yes. And I uh, killed it. Yes. Would you say that's cruel? Yes. Why is that cruel? It's still, I mean, it's cruel in the same way it's cruel now, right? Like you're taking the life on and for harming something that lives, feels. But if they're just existing, it's cruel just to kill them, in your opinion. If they're just existing, it's cruel to kill them. If they're just I, existing, I think, they're happy, yeah. it's cruel to kill them. I think so. I think like killing anything is cruel. I mean, I, mean, I, I wouldn't want to be killed. Whatever, yeah, exactly. But I'm not yeah. an animal. Yeah. Like, 
to be honest. I mean, no, I'm yeah, a yeah, human. Yeah. So, like, do you think a cow like wants to live? I think so. How do you know? I mean, just why does it eat every day? Why does it? Why does it do all of the functions it needs to do to maintain its I mean, life? What if I said it's just a mo? It's just uh, that it's reacting. That it's uh, machines, meat machines that react. Maybe, like to an extent, yeah. They don't have the ability to process things, so they're not as complex as humans, obviously. So they don't have like that emotional intelligence that we have. But regardless, like they're still going to want to live. Like I mean, they're trying to attack a cow, they're not gonna. Yeah, they're not just, just gonna be like, oh, yeah, just well, submit to it. Kill me. Yeah. I guess, I guess um, what, you're, what you're suggesting is that it's cruel to. Let's just say if they've got a will to live. Yeah. It's cruel to take their life away from them without their sort of their consent in a way. If they've got will to live. If they've, if they've got this will to live, and I come up and kill them. Yeah. Um, if anything that goes, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's gone against what they that, what they desire, what their preference is. Their preference is to live. I've come and taken their preference without their permission. Yeah. Are you sure you're not a vegan or something? Yeah, I'm not a vegan. Yeah. You're not. No, I just like I'm resigned to the fact that yeah, I'm okay with the fact that I do things that are not moral. You sound like a vegan. You're almost convincing me to be a vegan. I'm serious. Yeah. I mean, that's great. <laughs> if you do it. I, I mean, I mean, like you've made me think about like being cruel to animals. Sure. in factory farms and how like it's not justified to eat them because we don't need to and uh, we're not in a survival situation another one and that it's cruel to kill someone if they don't want to die yeah so basically I should be a vegan you should is that the general outcome you're trying to get from this yeah. conversation uh, <laughs> <laughs> but my question to you is why the hell aren't you <laughs> I'm okay with it you're okay with it yeah you're morally okay with it or you just you're okay with doing something you know is immoral I'm okay with doing something I know is immoral yeah and so, you, just with animals or with humans as well yeah mainly with animals I guess so like you wouldn't go kill you wouldn't kill like a person I mean yeah, I'm very unlikely to kill a person yeah, yeah. I was, also am very unlike like if I had to kill animals myself I probably wouldn't eat meat it's the fact that that like is taken away. There's a disconnect. From you. Yeah, that makes it a lot easier. Obviously, right? so okay. You give me ten quid, I kill a person. Would you do that? Because there's a disconnect. No. Why? Um, I mean, other than like you know, obviously the legal ramifications, like as well as like the fact that you take law out of it. They just want to. They want to live, like we talked about. Yeah, I mean, you. Uh, it, it's a lot harder to kill a human, right? At the end of the day, like even as a vegan, you have to admit. Who said I'm vegan? If you were, <laughs> say you were. Well, I might have been now after our conversation. It sounds like you're already a vegan, <laughs> and that's the whole point of these conversations. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's interesting. Like you knew all these arguments. Yeah. Uh, where, where have you learned these arguments from? I've tried being vegan for a couple of months. Um, it was too I, hard. Um, it was pretty hard, to be honest. Um, but it was also like circumstance, like I was working away, and all I could eat was salad every day, that's it. Like there was no options. I think it's becoming easier and easier to become vegan. Um, and but if you had to kill the animals yourself, yeah. you wouldn't do it? No. You would be vegan? I would be vegan, yes. Okay. Yeah. If I had to kill the animals myself, Honestly, like every time I watch like a documentary, I go vegan for like a couple of months. Oh, <laughs> really? Like, yeah, yeah. Like you feel bad, but then it like fades because you're like, God you damn You fade it. back into your co conditioning and- Yeah, and like ribs are great. And like, yeah. so you're just like, oh shit. I get it. Yeah. You seem like a good hearted, intelligent person, man. I mean, I don't know why you don't align your actions with- Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, it would be a better thing to do. I think it's pretty hard to shift the needle for everyone, right? Like to move yeah. everyone in that way, but it's like- I a, mean, but you, I'm more concerned with you Why? because you are a rational logical reasonable person sure. and uh, I just feel like you're kind of letting yourself down a bit because you believe you, you know what's right yeah but like I, I just feel like you're not motivated to like do things that you know are right the impact that you're having on conscious beings if you could witness that you sure. would be abhorred you would be traumatized yeah, yeah, yeah. you've you seen upset. these animals who are screaming in their blood in a horrible I don't know what you, what you think a slaughterhouse is like 
Yeah, it's they are great. horrible, yeah. horrible hell holes. Yeah. I don't know what you think a factory farm is like, but when I come out of them, I am disturbed and traumatized and smell like feces and death. But if you if you witnessed all that stuff, like you, there's no way that you could continue to do it. I mean, right. I, I just don't, not the way that you've spoken to me. No, I, th I think you're right. Like, I mean, uh, it's probably one of those things where you try to disassociate from it so that you can make it easier on yourself. Yeah. It's like it's like blinding yourself. It's like cognitive like dissonance. Yeah, exactly. You, your feelings say one thing, your actions say another. Yeah. There's this big disconnect between that feeling and... Correct, yeah. You know. I agree. It's, it's wrong, but... Uh, it, it is what I do. Maybe one day, maybe you'll see the victims. But uh, let me give you this. Uh, this these are the, some document. I don't know if you've seen Dominion, but you're from Australia. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's awesome. Thanks, man. No worries, brother. Thanks for talking to me. Did you really know I was vegan when you first sat down? No. You I didn't. Can tell, no. <laughs> Was I meant to? At what point could you tell that I was vegan by the end? Oh, basically when you made the point for veganism, <laughs> yeah. At what point? Like right at the end? Like... As a, oh, just before we started talking about it, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like uh, you flipped the script. Yeah, yeah. When I flipped point. the script, you knew I was vegan, yeah, yeah, eh? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Epic, bro. Good talking Thank to you, mate. Take care.